Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's Sunday, 5 o'clock. I'm at home currently. Um, I haven't done a video in a couple of days, so I figured I might do one. Uh, I, I have a topic I wanted to talk about. Um, it, it, it's uh, important. It's very personal. Um, but uh, I figured um, a lot of people go through it. I actually have a friend I met in treatment going through it right now. I don't I haven't talked to him. I haven't been able to get a hold of him in two weeks, so I don't know how he's doing. I don't know if he relapsed or what, but um, it's about relationships, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband. So I am single now. I'm going to be single for a very long time, permanently single, because um, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of uh, tired of being shit on. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm just tired of uh, just tired of it being hurt, you know. Um, so I was with uh, Manisha for three years, almost. So we went to treatment together last August. Um, we were having problems in treatment. She was in Adams County. I was in Pike County. Um, it, it was just we were just having problems. So we broke up and. We were, we were just talking and we were arguing and not getting along. So I came home in December. I ended up relapsing in January. That's my clean month. I got clean in January. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like January 12th, I want to say. Um, maybe the 13th. But uh, anyways, uh, she wanted me to come back to treatment. So we were talking. You know, I wanted to be with her. I loved her. You know, I wanted to marry her and stuff. And. Um, I still do love her, you know, I still do, um, but I don't want to be with her anymore because all she does is hurt me and we're not good together anyways, you know, so, uh, but anyways, uh, she wanted me to come back to treatment. I said no. So she, we ended up not talking for a couple months. This was back in January, February, March. She meets another guy. She starts talking to another guy. Ends up kissing him, you know. They 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 go to and you're fucking treatment. He's he's in treatment. He just got there. He'd just been in treatment. So she meets this guy, and then you, he's ugly as fuck too. I'm I'm nothing special. I know this, but this guy, man, whew, Jesus, it was like he could have been on the hills have eyes. I think like one of those inbred motherfuckers, but um. Yeah, and anyways, she, I, she, uh, she ended up talking to this guy for like a month, you know, they were hanging out, she kissed him, I was heartbroken about it, of course, you know, but I got over it, we started hanging out and dating again, we started talking, and then eventually we'd, she'd come home, we'd get hotel rooms, and because, you know, our families don't want us to be together, really, but, we get hotel rooms and we'd you know sleep together and be it was just it was just like we were together again. Well, about four nights ago, I found a picture on Facebook, and uh, it's her, three other guys, two who I know from treatment, and uh, one of them was a pretty good friend of mine, was, and. Uh, one of her girlfriends. Well, I confronted her about it, told her I was done. Fuck you. I'm done with you. You're a whore. You're a bitch. Uh, I was pretty immature about the whole thing. I responded very poorly to it, but I was hurt. So I, of course, you know, acted like a child, and which I don't recommend to do, but I couldn't control my emotions. So uh, I guess it's better than sticking a needle in my vein. Um, so I was like, fuck you, I'm done with you, I haven't talked to her since, so I don't know what she's doing, but fuck her, you know what, because if she doesn't reach out to me, um, that means she just doesn't give a fuck, you know, she really didn't care, so, but I'm not gonna use because of that, you know, you could, I could easily just go out there and get high and say, fuck everything, fuck what I've been building my, uh, savings for, fuck what I've been building my, you know, my future for, for what I've been doing, I was going to go get high, you know, she hurt me, so I'm going to go hurt myself some more, you know, it makes no sense, you know, but I see now it makes no sense, maybe two years ago, even last year, I probably would have just said fuck it and got high, you know, um, but yeah, it sucks, you know, it's, uh, my friend Josh is going through the same thing, he was married to a girl, 
he met in treatment, which well, he's an idiot. I told him not to get married to her, but he marries her. Sorry, Josh, if you see this. Uh, you know, everybody told you not to do it. I feel real bad for you. I tried to give you advice, but you just, I know how it is, man. You're not going to take it because you, the heart wants what the heart wants. You know, you don't, your mind, you know, you, your brain tells you logically, hey, don't, this is not good. But your heart's like, don't listen to your brain. This is what you need. This is what we want, you know. So, I, I mean, it sucks. So, yeah, I haven't talked to her. Don't know what she's doing. And really, I don't give a fuck. Because, you know what? She's probably with them motherfuckers. And whatever, man. I don't need that shit. So, I'm going to keep my money. I was giving her money, too. You know, it was kind of... <clears throat> <clears throat> hindering me. I gave her $200 a week for like a month. And then uh, every time she asked me for money, I'd just give it to her, you know. and Done. I guarantee you in a few days, she's going to realize like, Oh, Jimmy, I need some money. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Why don't you go ask one of those dudes you were hanging out with at Roosters for fucking money. I'm done. That's one thing you got to be smart enough to realize, like, what's hurting you. Like, you have to be smarter to, you have to be stronger to overcome your heart. Because your heart is just, man, you, it's a very, love is a very powerful emotion. Like, it's a, one of the, one of the most powerful emotions I've ever felt. Um, so, it can make you do crazy things, make you think crazy thoughts. You just have to just, man, there's so many other more people out there. Um, I'm just going to be single for a while. Hopefully reconnect with some old friends I haven't seen in a while. Go fishing um, before it gets cold. Uh, you know, I want to go camping before it gets cold. Um, I want to go. I do have some felony conviction for drug charges. Uh, felony fi five, uh, fifth degree felony for possession of heroin. So I can't be around firearms, which really blows because I love shooting weapons, but I would love to do that. Um, if anybody has any weapons and they don't mind like risking it, give me a call. Um, what else? But that's what's going on with me right now. I probably should, it's 90 fucking degrees right now, so I'm going to wait about an hour, probably go out for a couple hours, make uh, a few bucks, you know. I like making money. Um, plus, it's something. It's something to do to replace what's going on with me right now. Um, rather than going and buying drugs or replacing it with an unhealthy habit, um, you know, I'm going to focus on bettering myself. You know, making my bank account bigger. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe. Go do something for somebody that always makes you feel good, you know. Go find somebody homeless and give them a few dollars. Um, I've done that a few times. Uh, I gave one homeless guy a pair of tennis shoes. I didn't like them. I bought them, didn't like them, so I gave them to him. That's what's going off me. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, instead of using... To deal with my emotional pain, um, praying to, to me that's a given. I need to keep saying it because a lot of people don't pray, you know. But to me it's just, uh, it's so common that I forget to mention it. Uh, God helps me, you know. I just tell God I love him, dude. And I just feel like he protects me, you know. Like as long as I keep that relationship with him and stay true to it and he won't let me... He won't let me fail, you know, like he'll put me through trials and tribulations, but it only makes you stronger, you know, everything you go through in life, it makes you stronger. So I hope everybody has a good Sunday and, uh, I am ready for fall. <laughs> this heat is killing me.